Yo, what is going on, everyone? Today, we're going to be talking about two, three, three mouse pads that I've been using over the course of, like, I'd say a month or so. One of these are a desk mat by a very, very, very small company. The other two are products by brands that have made a nice name for themselves on Twitter and also have a good amount of following. So, first, we're going to be talking about the Tenta X desk mat. This is the desk mat I'm using currently and have been for the last couple weeks to a month now and it's an okay product so i did do an initial impressions on twitter about the, this product it has a standard rubber base as standard stitching it's pretty much like a black oem cloth desk mat and there's not much to it that i feel like makes it stand out from the rest of the products that are available but i have talked with the tenta x guy or guys i don't know how many people there work there but I, but i've talked with a lot of them and they are very passionate about creating a new product they did just launch their own web store so i would say go check this out i believe it's like 20 30 dollars something like that and if you're looking for just a large black desk mat but don't want to pay a whole bunch of money that's honestly a solid kind of deal what i've been doing is i've been taking standard mouse pads and just laying them on top and the texture of the desk mat is like a smooth speedy kind of feeling and it's been very nice to hold different mouse pads. I've had no issues with it holding other the other mouse pads, but as a main mouse pad itself, I've had a ton of issues. It's very subjective to humidity. So I would recommend getting this if you're looking for an underlying desk mat for your setup. I would not recommend getting this as a main mouse pad. They are planning on making a more esports oriented style mouse pad 490 by 420 with standard stitching and all the gibs and gabs so i will be doing a review on that when i do get my my hands on one so let you guys know how it is but so far their first product i feel like is kind of bland and i've told them this several times and i've been helping and working alongside them to help them create a much better product because the tenta x desk mat is okay next i want to talk about here the g topper g2 this is a 490 by 420 mouse pad this is very similar in style to the pulse fire mouse mat it is almost one-to-one -one. the stitching on the side is very similar the texture on the top is very similar the pad at the bottom or the base is very 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 similar like it's almost like this is the oem mouse pad of the pulse fire desk mat and that's really all i can say about it if you've ever tried a pulse fire desk mat that's pretty much what this is. The stitching is slightly above the surface, so it does cause a little bit of irritation. It's also using a printed on top of logo, so it's not that high quality. And if you've seen my focus review, again, I slap mouse pads on my desk all the time and having the logo printed on top of the surface and not stitched into the surface is always going to be an issue for me because i kind of play in this top area of mouse pads and i just like i said i just toss mouse pads on my desk and try them all the time but if you're looking for something from a company you want to help support, support a small brand the gtopper g2 is available on lethal gaming gear i believe and their own custom g topper store i'll put links for that in the description they are coming out with a pro series mouse pad so again this is just another brand starting out with something new mouse pads seem to be the easiest way to get your foot in the door to peripherals and they're all trying to reach that bigger audience that you can get with uh mouse pads he did tease a pro series mouse pad it looked to have a better base it looked to be poron i could be wrong it, it, it was a single image on twitter yeah that's enough of this the g topper g2 is just a solid it's it, it, like it's a solid mouse pad you can get but there are versions of it that feel identical you can go pick up in a big box store so i would say only buy this if you're wanting to support a smaller brand help fund and help create a better product they do have a mouse coming out they have keyboards coming out and they have new mouse pads coming out. Just the G Chopper G2, the original mouse pad, I feel like needs a lot of work. And I feel like Martin from G Topper has been doing that. He's been doing a lot behind the scenes to make a significantly better product. Finally, we're going to talk about the mouse pad I've personally been maining for the last like week and a half. I've had this mouse pad. This is the Ghost Glides Focus mouse pad. This is the very first mouse pad. And compared to their mouse gates, which is what they're pretty much known for, is why they're called Ghost Glides or a mouse gate company. This seems very OEM at first, and then you get to use it and you realize it's still a really solid product. The art is questionable. A lot of people would dislike the art because there's a super light on the mouse pad, but I don't really mind the art because I'm not really staring at my mouse pad as I'm using it. It's black and white, matches my, my setup, except for my keyboard here. It is not a black and white keyboard, it's black and pink, so it kind of throws everything off. 
but we're going to talk about the stitching here for a second it is surface level it's slightly above the surface about like a millimeter or two the surface is really really consistent i've been using this in extremely rainy days extremely humid days there's days where i go outside lose my breath because of how humid it is and this product has been very very consistent throughout all of that it uses a standard rubber backing uh, rich from ghost glides did mention that he does prefer the rubber backing over pour on because something i'll screenshot the message and put it here in the video but yeah it's it, it's just a solid first product I, it's just the only issue with me with recommending it is that it it's just another option on the market and that's kind of what all these mouse pads i've shown you are today that they are all solid products but they're just another options on the market if you're getting the ghost glide focus it's similar to something like alcon control zero or lethal gaming your saturn nine pro with that really thick rubber base and it's just that really consistent glide feeling that you're getting from those mouse pads. And yeah, it's just a solid product. It's just it, it it's just kind of one of those those things where it's you can talk about it, but it's just it's been done before. And if you like the design of the Focus mouse pad, I would go for it. If you don't, there are others on the op there are others on the market like it. Same thing with the G2 mouse pad. It's a solid product. There are others on the market like it, almost identical to it. And he's coming out with a lot of really fancy colors. I've seen a purple mouse pad. I've seen a orange one i've seen a lot of really cool colors and i'm excited to try out and there's just so many things on the market like it that make it not unique but still good if that makes any sense but yeah hope you guys did enjoy the, this video this was another relatively quick video just showcasing three different mouse pads like i said these are all solid products just different options on the market if you're going for the design but yeah that should be i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in the next one oh,